everybody hear me? Yeah? Hello? Cool? Oh, thank you. All right. So first and foremost, thank you for being here and taking your time out of your day just to hear our proposal today. So our proposal is basically a two-part plan. It's an incentive program, and then the other part is basically getting the members more active in the credit union. The first incentive program is basically a reward system, not only to the new members coming in, but to the current members. So basically, we're gonna use the current members to get new members, such as friends, associates, things of that nature. So we're re rewarding the members and the new members, and that gets everyone involved and really excited to participate in this project. The second part of the plan is basically, as I said, getting more members active in the credit union, because at the end of the day, that is the most important part. And the way we're gonna do this is basically create a new program called Stature Cash Program, and they get, this gets everyone more involved. And basically for our plan, the whole thing is simplicity. When we think about it, you guys have already spent hundreds of thousands of dollars basically restructuring, getting new technologies into the credit union itself that we don't need to do that. This is a plan that is very simple and easy for everyone to understand. Now, at the end, we are gonna wait for questions, so if you guys do have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. So now I'm gonna hand it over to Alexandra Vega, who's gonna talk about why we chose this incentive program and went about it this way. Good morning. Um, before we get into the logistics of the incentive program, I wanna talk about why we chose an incentive program as opposed to a lot of the other options <coughs> that other groups have discussed. Um, first, incentive programs are proven to work. There's plenty of research out there. One thing I found in the Journal of Marketing is that um, those who got a product from, for free actually talked about the company 20% more. So that's free advertising for you. Um, also, the average American household owns 21.9 uh, loyalty programs, customer incentive programs. So it's really clear that in our society, people really value uh, being treated right, getting things for free, and feeling like they're getting the best deal. Um, next, our incentive program is a comparative in today's market. As I laid out here, these are the savings interest rates of your competitors. In our incentive program, we're actually offering um, a 0.30% savings interest rate, which we have emailed the board and they said is um, feasible and it's not too costly. So we clearly, our incentive program um, is comparative to these. And lastly, we have adopted some ideas uh, from other companies that brought success to them. And um, so that would be our savings tool. So this brought a lot of success to PNC. They, have, they also have the Stature Cash Plan. And it just makes saving much easier and it shows um, your members that you really, really care about how well they're saving and um, you care about their financial plan. So next I'm gonna pass it off to Eddie to share the logistics. Good morning, I'm gonna go into the details of the incentive program. So uh, if someone's referred and opens an account with the credit union, they're gonna get an introductory rate of 0.30% interest for the first six months of their account. Um, so that's gonna cost about 15.50 per new account to the credit union. And the person who refers the new member is going to get a bonus in their account of $150. So this helps bring in membership from both sides. It helps, it gives people a reason to advertise and bring in new members for us. So it's free advertising. So it's um, gonna cost about $165 per new account good marketing. Uh, here's Adam. So customer service is a key component um, when any consumer is looking to switch their credit union. Unsatisfactory customer service accounts for 40% of those who look to switch. Um, optimizing a mobile application will eliminate many problems for consumers as well as satisfy their needs quickly, efficiently, and Satisfactory. Um, additionally, when you look at one of BCEFCU's largest competitors, PNC, and the success that they have found with their up-to-date mobile application, you will see that this idea really works. 60% of PNC's customer base uses non-teller methods mobile of, I'm sorry, uses non-teller methods of banking, which is pretty much all the mobile applications. 
This number was down at 40% just three years ago, and this 20% increase really shows the direction and future of mobile banking. Now I'm gonna pass it off to Sean. So I'm just gonna give a little background and the uh, basis of our idea and um, how uh, we came to uh, figure this out. Um, basically the uh, idea for uh, uh, this app was to create a fast and easy way for people to save money using microtransactions. Uh, this would basically be having a separate savings account that's uh, different than your uh, normal checking and savings account that you'd be putting in small amounts of money at a time that you basically just don't need like five, ten dollars at a time. And it's basically just almost hiding it away from yourself and just building up a small savings and just teaching people how to save. Um, and I'm just gonna go into a little bit about the app. So this is just a uh, basic overview design of what we think the app might look like. Uh, it's a very basic draft, but uh, just to, it's, it's very minimalist and it's very easy to use. And I think that uh, today's audience will really uh, uh, resonate with that type of design. Uh, so to go into a little bit about it, so first you have your check, uh, account overview. Uh, this can be customized with your checking, uh, savings, loan balances, bills, anything like that uh, for each individual user. Uh, second, you have your stash of cash and wish list. Uh, this is tied in with our incentive program and basically, uh, like I said, is gonna be a series of microtransactions that you're putting away into a separate savings account. Um, this will also be tied in with a wish list where users are able to say that you wanna buy a new laptop and it costs $500. You input that item in there and they can see your gradual pro progress towards this item of being able to afford the things that you'd like to buy while having it be a separate account than your normal checking and savings. I think this will really just help people, one, learn how to save, but two, also be able to buy the things that they want at the same time, which uh, not, no other banks have this wish list feature. Uh, third, we have calendar and bill pay. Uh, this is just a, 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 a feature that is the industry standard at this point, many other banks have this. Uh, you basically are able to see a uh, monthly calendar and input dates that are bills, bill due dates, uh, paydays, uh, user uh, personal dates, anything like that, and you can just see it overhead. Uh, again, this is just a very standard thing that uh, should be included in your app. Um, and lastly, like Adam said, customer service is a uh, very important part of uh, any uh, business, uh, specifically ones that are dealing with people's personal finances. So uh, we just wanna make it as easy as possible for uh, account holders to reach a customer service representative and have uh, any issue that they may have settled as quickly as possible and uh, without having to go online, look for a number or find a, a rep uh, indirectly that way. Uh, and then I'd like to uh, finally pass it on to Ilya to uh, finish up. All right, so as you guys have already heard, to <coughs> just to get everything together, we created an incentive program that is competitive for the members who are actually gonna get a reward of $150, which when comparing to other banks and credit unions, was basically, it was the median. It wasn't the highest rate, and it wasn't the lowest, so it was very fair. And then we were giving the new members another reward, which was a 30, .30% introductory rate, which again, we believe is very competitive and very feasible for the credit union itself. We believe this is a very viable option and also very financially secure. And then again, with the stature for a cash program, this gets everyone excited, not just the customers, but we believe you guys will get excited about it because it's very easy, simplistic, and everyone's gonna be able to get around it and get excited. So thank you for your time, and if you guys have any questions at this, this moment, please don't hesitate to ask. So yeah, basically, the reason we gave the current member $150 is because we wanted to show them that, again, they're the one referring, so we wanted to give them something immediate. And then the reason we gave the new member an introductory rate is because we wanted to give them something that will basically bring them in and then encourage them to stay. So we didn't want to basically throw them $150 and then they set up an uh, account with you guys and then basically 
in a couple of weeks they're out because they got that reward already. So this is basically allowing them to stay with the credit union and not just basically, okay, I got a reward and I'm gonna go now. This gets them excited to stay and then again, with the introductory rate, we pulled the stature cash, which is gonna give them more excitement to stay with the firm. So the reason we chose that is we wanted prolonged satisfaction. We didn't want instant gratification. We wanted them to give them a reason to basically, hey, come with us. This is a reason you're gonna stay because it's a long period. We're sticking with you long term. There's also a lot of research out there about <coughs> um, Americans are not saving enough. Pretty much nobody is happy with their savings account. And so that's why also this introductory rate is really important if we're trying to get new members in. Saving is so important. So this is really shows that our that the credit union values that. Thank you.